Um, I think that's similar to most um, MMOs in the world where, you know, cha the changing dynamics of membership and in our peak years we have up to like almost a thousand members and now we're only recording about 640, 70 uh, members which is still quite, like if you look at the percentage of things it's quite good for our country but still we want to grow 2 to 5% in the next say 10 years. And in order to achieve that, we, we're planning on having a new website and um, we have a national adventure day where basically in a city in our country you can experience scouting all day long and we'll have like tryout sessions where you can come and see if it's something for you. So what's being done to help like fix that and give them the confidence to step up? Well, we have launched some uh, website agenda, we have launched some uh, articles and also we have had a little bit like a encouraging campaign through our social media and eventually actually we've gotten like about four or five girl guides to go and get voted into a leadership position because of that. What's in this in general is, I think it's just, in the US it's quite different, you know, quite different because I think, as what I understood it, it's quite a separation between the Boy Scouts of America and Girl Guiding the US. Mm -hmm. It's quite a separate way. For us, for example, we're a co-ed uh, national organization, so we're actually both a member of WAGS and a member of WASM. And it's not like we choose as a girl, okay, I'm only going to do WAGS activities or I'm only going to do that. We actually just go with the flow. And I think that, for example, for me, it was just that I had a lot more experience in WASM events. So I went to Jamborees, where maybe you want to go, you want to go. <laughs> and um, I, then I went to world conferences and world youth forum from the WASM, from like the world level. And that's when you make connections and you, you know, start feeling at home in a way, that, you know, association. Versus WAGs, I know quite a few WAGs members and I, I, I really appreciate them and stuff, but just for me, it seems like I know more people and I feel more at home with the, with the issues they're talking about. But I don't really see a big difference. Like, there, there, there are some differences, like for example, how WAGs does their program and how WASM does their program. But as, a, but as an overall thing, they're both trying to achieve that you know, young people are enabled to you know, create positive change in their communities. So I think that there are differences, of course, but I think overall it's one, one, one goal. goal, kind of. Um, I don't actually know if I see some problem with that, like maybe, maybe I would wish that boys could be registered also with both world organizations, like uh, not only the world organization of the scouting movement, but also the world association of girl guides and girl scouts, because it would be like the nice courtesy to the equality and yeah, getting along with each other. But, yeah, I mean, it's not so much of, a, of an issue. I think that we, as, as the scouting in Liechtenstein, like to take a stand against environmental, um, or for environmental protection. And something we do every year is that every local municipality um, cleans up basically the, the, the town. So trash gets recycled and, and everything's made nice and clean in spring. And we do that every year since, since I can think, so quite a long time. So I've been given some extra space to say just whatever I want. And I would like to say, if you're considering joining a scout movement wherever in the world, it doesn't matter, do it. It's just perfect. And actually, the best thing about scouting, I think, is that it is a big, big family that uh, that is connecting no matter of borders, no matter which nationality, and it's just perfect. So do it and become a part of our family.